Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to the studio. I'm happy to have you back. Um, and if you're here for the first time, welcome. Um, I decided that we needed more flowers, so I'm going to paint some more flowers today. And I'm um, just kind of getting anxious for spring after our little ice storm. I guess it's now a couple weeks ago. Wow. Uh, when it's going, going quick. Uh, let's see. I just always like to talk about what's going on in the studio, but this week it was kind of a reorganization week for me. I, I actually got up this morning and moved some furniture around in my house. You know, I just kind of got, got a bug up um, and just started moving stuff around. Um, and I haven't really done a whole lot of painting this week. It's been one of those weeks, spent a lot of time on the computer writing and that kind of stuff, but that's okay because it's kind of waxes and wanes. I think I always kind of relax into that, so it's totally fine. Um, I do have a couple of announcements this week. Um, one of them is that uh, this weekend we'll be releasing a new mini lesson that is on scaling a sketch, a couple of different methods. Um, one that's kind of down and dirty that you can do either in the studio or in the field. And then the other is using that um, proportion wheel that you guys have seen. Let's see, just kind of show you how, how, that I use, how, how to use this little tool. Comes in really handy. So watch out for that mini lesson. If you haven't signed up for mini lessons, head over to the website paintinglessonswithmarla.com and make sure you sign up for mini lessons because there's a lot of good stuff there and always adding to that. And the other announcement that I have is that we're running a nice sale right now. It's $23 off every order and um, you can go to the website and check that out. So everything's on sale, the workshops and the monthly subscription. And so check it out. We have lessons in watercolor and acrylic oil and of course pastel so that's going to be going on for a little while longer and uh so that's that's kind of a nice thing uh today i'm gonna paint something kind of similar to something that i did for the monthly lessons can we go to the palette cam so it's kind of similar to this it's a little kind of humble little flower arrangement and i thought it'd be really fun to paint um, kind of different than the garden scene that I did last week. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a few of my considerations before I start painting today. So it's, a, you know, it's kind of a, uh, a pretty traditional still life in a way. So there's a few things that kind of occur to me when I'm doing any kind of still life that, that, the thing that I did with this um, in this this little piece was I was setting up the flowers, and I, so I have so these are these are the flowers that I set up the other day um, to to take the picture for today's live stream. But I kept just like when I was doing the monthly lesson, I kept taking flowers out. So basically what I'm doing is I'm simplifying, simplifying, simplifying. So even this felt like it was too much. So even though it's a small little arrangement, I kept getting it down, you know, making it smaller so that I, I wound up with, can we put that, that reference photo up? Yeah, so I wound up with that really simple little um, reference scene. Now, the other thing that I'm always considering with the still life is I want to consider the eye level. And this one, I'm, I'm pretty, you know, it's pretty eye level. The ellipse, I'm not seeing a whole lot of that ellipse on the top of the little jar. I'm also thinking about the lighting. So that's really, really important. So I want to have one light source, if possible, one stronger light source and not have a lot of other ambient light spilling into my still life. So I do set things up in my still life stage, but you can do it really simply with a box and just kind of shield the light um, around the still life and just have one, one kind of direct source. Now, the other thing about that lighting, you want to think about the angle of the lighting and what kind of cast shadow it's creating. 
what that cast shadow is doing compositionally, because that really becomes important. And even in this one, it's, it is kind of important. And how far the still life is to the back edge or to the front edge of the tabletop, that's kind of a consideration. Oh, and back to the lighting. What's the temperature of the light? That's something to consider. And the strength of the light, how close that light source is to the objects. Now, one thing that you can do is you can make the, the light more diffuse by putting a piece of fabric over the light and so you get a softer look. Or if you want that harder edge um, cast shadow and lighting, you can do that as well. So those are kind of considerations. Now today's, um, it's a nice light, bright, background and I wanted that. Sometimes it's fun for still lives to have that kind of darker moody thing going on but I, I, I didn't want to do that today. So I'm, that's one thing. Also thinking about the reflections that happen. Today uh, the, the surface, the tabletop, I didn't put a piece of glass on it or anything reflective. Even wood can get a little bit of a reflection. I decided to keep that simpler um, there's some interesting little reflections back here that I think it's enough. It's got enough going on. But so there's, a, you have a lot of control when you're doing a still life. It's really pretty interesting and you can be really creative with just something super, super simple. So I, I find it really fun. And uh, sorry to interrupt Marla, but yep, um, just to okay. clarify, you were working on still lifes uh, as a, as a um, month for year three. Yes, yes. So it's yeah. not going to come out for a couple more months. No, it's not coming out for a little bit. Yeah, we did um, several still lives for um, year three. Yep. And the other thing I was thinking about with this little scene, which was really important, it's kind of a small detail, but it winds up being kind of important because the jar is glass transparent. The level of the water, when I first set it up, I had the water, the whole jar, full. But that kind of takes away a little opportunity to get that little sort of diffraction of the stems and get that kind of interesting uh, shapes and designs inside the jar. So think about if you, if you have something transparent, what's the level of the water? And you may not want it full. So that's just something that I noticed when I set mine up. Okay. Um, now I'm going to start painting and the first thing that I'm going to think about is the overarching design of the flowers, the, the big shape that they're creating. And then, so, and so by doing that, I'm working from the general down to the specific. The other thing that's fun to think about with flowers is, are they facing you or are they turning away from you? So they're, they're kind of like these little, um, uh, um, um, what's the right word? What are they, Kevin? They're, they're, they're triangle, not the triangles. What is that? Cone. cone. <laughs> yeah, let me get the cone. Little cones. Let me get a little cone. Get, get my brain in gear and think about, think about what they are. Okay, so they're like, they're these, right? So sometimes they're facing right towards you. And sometimes they're like this. Sometimes they're like this. So that's all they are. That's, you know, the most, a lot of flowers are like, some, you know, flowers have different, but basically they're these. And they're, you know, turning all kind, some of them are turning away, they're like this. So that's really um, kind of interesting. So I'm going to consider that. And um, then the other thing to think about with this is it's very, um, the, the colors are kind of soft and muted. You could say that that background, it's a white sheet, but it's not white, is it? If I were to take my little thing, this is my little color isolator. I see that some of you guys I saw on Facebook, some people making these. So all this is, is a little piece of pastel matte. Pastel matte's a great multimedia paper. So I painted it. Now I gotta make a new one because it's getting so dirty. but. Um, I painted this a middle gray. You could use a, a printed grayscale, the same, but I like this because I've got a couple of holes and it's 
it's pretty big. So I'm just isolating the color. So I'm just gonna come along here and I look at this and this, this part is not white, right? It's not white at all. It's, it's actually like, it's kind of like color sort of like this. It's kind of got a lot of purple in it. Maybe even, mm, this is a little dark, but it's definitely got some kind of, uh, kind of grayed purple. It appears a little bit like this to me. Then I get over here and that's not even white, white. And then I get over here to my daisy over here and it's the whitest thing. So I have to make sure that I save the whites and I don't go ahead and get this background too, too light to begin with. That would um, make it so that it's not gonna have that pop that I want. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. <laughs> right. And that is it today on the blah blah side. All right, I'm gonna start with um, blue spruce just because I like drawing with it. And it doesn't really matter what, um, what you use to do your sketch. And I think that I'm gonna keep it about like so. Maybe a little, maybe a little bit more like this. So I'll get rid of that. And um, I'll measure this for you guys so you know what size I used. Oh, it's 12. Aren't I supposed to be down to 11 um, so I can fit it in that box? That is so true. So that would be, so no wonder I had it there. So yeah, you just you make it a little small so it fits into a standard. So it, I make box. it a little that size so it'll fit into a standard medium priority mailbox. That makes my life just that little inch makes my life so much easier. So I want to do that. Okay, so now I've got this. Now I'm I'm thinking about composing it on the page, and I. I do like how it's a, it's a little shifted over here. It's not right in dead center. I'm going to say that this is the middle of my jar. Just going to say that. I'm going to say this is this is the bottom of my jar right right here. Okay? And then the top of my jar then gets to be probably in here, some here. So then this, this overarching shape, then I get to think about what that is, what is happening here. So I just want to think about what is the whole shape of my flower thing. I think it's something like that, and that's good. The top of my jar, I'm just thinking about what that is. It's got a little ellipse, you can feel that a little bit. And I wanna make sure it's kinda of even. And it's, the edge of the jar does something like this, and then I do see a little bit of the side of the jar, like so. But I'm not gonna make a big deal of that. I don't need to. I get it kinda even, it's got this kinda soft edge to it. I think that's it. Maybe it's a little too squat, but mm, I think that's pretty good. So then my the water line is sort of in here. And there's the back of the water and there's the so it's just a it's it's a rectangle. So 
something like that. Okay, I don't need to make a, a big big old deal about that. Then my my daisy, this one is facing me, right? That's that, it's the cone and it's I'm seeing the whole face of it. And this one is this cone and I'm seeing it here and it's doing that. So here's that one. And then this one comes here and then it does this kind of funny diffraction thing and it goes out and, and here's this other one. It's really fun. It's really neat. And that's it. That's all that's that's all that's going on there. Okay. Now, what's <laughs> it's it's kind of fun and simple. And I like how this button is tucked in there. Now, I, what I think is kind of nice about this little scene is that um, this really interesting cast shadow. So here's this cast shadow. It comes right off of my jar. Let's see. And then the leaf, this leaf shape, is half in shadow and half in um, the light, which I think is going to be a kind of a fun part of the painting. And then this is up against the that back edge. And then this, the shape of this, the cast shadow sitting in here somehow. So that's not bad. Okay, so now, um, do I want, do I need to, to play with some drawing on the flowers? I could, but I, I think that I can get those in more or less with the pastel strokes, but I may want to do a little bit of indication of where the pink ones are and where the white ones are, the petals, and kind of what their gesture is doing. Uh, that's kind of fun and nice. And some of them are and this one coming, this one comes down like that. Oh, I see that my ellipse comes up a little bit more. Eh, it's okay. I don't, I don't need to worry. I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna get that as I'm painting. I'm gonna not worry about it yet. And then there's some, I, there's this kind of, Neat swirly design on the glass. I want, I'm gonna want that. And then this is, this is not a daisy, this is a mum. But I'm not sitting in there. I love this little petal that's right here. Try to catch that. And I like how that's doing that. Okay, I think that's kind of all I need right now. And now I'm gonna just start in. Um, yeah, that's good. All right, now the main thing is to think about what, again, what's in the light and what's in the shadow. I'm looking at this um, color, this is, um, close to the paper, but I think it's gonna work pretty well for this shadow shape. And it's a good color. And 
I'm going to come right off of the jar here, and maybe here, maybe a little bit of this here. And then I'm going to get a little something in for the um, pink flowers, just to just cause. It would be nice to just get a little color in here. Now, Now I'm thinking about what that is. It's so kind of hard to figure out what that is. I think it's like this. It might be a little darker, but I'm going to I'm going to start here for the inside of this daisy. Marla, there's a mm -hmm. little um, discussion on the chat about different types of paper. And uh, there was a funny thing that happened to you at the art store this week. Uh, do you remember that? When the woman asked you if you had ever heard of sanded paper? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was sweet. She's she a didn't young... know who she was talking to. Let's just she would, no, she was a young... I didn't, I didn't say anything. I mean, was, you know, it was kind of cute. I was like... Hmm, yeah, I actually do know what sanded paper is. I didn't say, I didn't say that. Um, okay, I want to get something in for the background now. Um, so I'm going to use some, something like this, I think, to start. This might be a little light. We'll see. I'm going to see what I did in the other one. That that sh shifts in value. There's some really fun opportunities, interesting opportunities to um, play with color. So there's a little, there's another little petal right here that I, I do want, I do want that in there, a little petal. It's actually a little further away from that, but that's okay. I'll get it like that. Okay. Can get some of that. That's not what I want. I want something a little bit different. Um, maybe like this. Do there. Okay. So I'm looking at so I'm looking at this one a little bit um, because um, you know I, I've solved some of my problems already here. I don't need to struggle and try to do it again. All right, so I want mm, 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 some kind of green, gray. We're going to take questions at the end today. 
um, more than, because I think that um, just lets me kind of paint a little bit more. Let's see. I need something a little bit lighter. That's nice. Okay. And then I use this over here, but I want something like this. Now I'm just thinking about that contour of these petals, just doing almost like a blind contour of it right, right there. Oops, I need a little more space at the top. That's all right. I'm going to mix some of this in. Is it pouring rain? Oh my god. It was so yeah. sunny a little just a little while ago. Oh. It's so crazy how it It's what they say about Portland. If you don't like the weather, wait 5 minutes. I think they say that about a lot of cities. I have So now I'm just getting these negative shapes in here. Always easier than doing the positive shapes and fun, fun to do. Whoa. <laughs> I wonder if they can hear it. We're getting a big hailstorm. Uh, it's loud. The rain's loud here. Yeah, that's... Now it's starting to get a little little good vibe to it. And I actually think 
that um, I want to open this up a little bit, just a little bit lighter. All right now, now I really need to start thinking about that um, a little bit more of the shadow. That's not quite what I want. I want something a little more. Maybe this will be right. This daisy in the center, in the shadow, is pretty gray to me. And then as it goes out into the light, let's see, up in here, what are the cat, what are these cast shadows doing on petals? Right here, it's right by the button, it's darker. It's got some really beautiful kind of reflected light that's got more color to it. In, inside. So I'll play with that. something with a little, little bit more color, not too much. See, so I haven't put the light on the color, on the flowers yet. I'm still working on, um, the shadow side. I might want some kind of peach kind of. Now let's see about some of the light. That's a little too much peach. A few, point, a few people pointed out that your outfit matches the painting again. <laughs> I always do that. I don't mean to. I just, maybe it's just my, you know, I wake up in the morning and then that's what happens. It's so funny. I don't know. Just This has really got some beautiful reflected light on it. It's really, really pretty.
I'm still, I'm still working on, I don't have all the light lights on there that I want. Just kind of working my way towards it. Okay, let's get this guy. And it's really in shadow here, so. Definitely wanna say that. Okay, now it's kind of time to pull a few things together so it doesn't look so, it's a little spotty. I don't want it to have that feeling to it. I haven't got the lights in yet, but, so get, I'm gonna get that button in. I want. It's got kind of an interesting center. Okay, for now. It's tucked in there, which is nice. Okay, now I think I need some green stems. It's kind of crazy how they are in the in the jar that's pretty neat and then aqua it's my here's my opportunity for aqua Maybe a little bit lighter green. Let's see a little bit of this. And it gets dark. And then there's this bottom of this, this guy. This guy doesn't look green right there. It looks like it's something else. Um, I'm wondering whether that's true on the actual flower. Oh yeah, it's kind of a kind of green, kind of a grayed thing. doesn't really matter what the actual flower is, to be honest. Oh, I kind of missed that it's hanging over. I want that a little bit like that. I love that.
There's the back edge of my lips. I'm gonna get a little bit of light in there so that I re remember that. It's right there in the front of it. So it starts to kind of come together nice. Um, I want a little bit darker pink. Do I want that? Let me see. I don't know. I don't think I want quite that much. Let's see. But that'll probably work. Here's my, this, this guy that's up in here. I want it to be darker though. Nice direct strokes. There's no reason not to. And see how important it is to get the value of the, the petals in the shadow dark enough? Tendency would be to, to get them too light. I want this color more. I like this color better. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna move over to my, um, oh, before I do that, I'm gonna get this guy in. So get, so part of it's in shadow, so. Part of it's in the light. See that little detail in the painting really helps um, with the idea of this. And it's got, um, there's a little cast shadow here on the leaf. I'm gonna try to get that too. Okay, fair enough, I think. Get a little of the stem in there. And what else, what else? I want a little idea of some thickness on the, glass. I'll come back around to that. It's really nice to get. So I'm just figuring out what some shapes are. And then on this side, there's a little hint of aqua there. I can play with that. Maybe some kind of greenish gray. Maybe a little bit more of that in here. And on the side and up here.
Should we take a little break and answer questions if? Yeah, there sure. Um, a question from a little while ago was, do you think um, about spraying? Um, somebody mentioned that you have a mini lesson on that. Yeah. Um, so that's probably the best place to go. About, yeah. Sometimes you spray yeah. your work, sometimes you don't. When you ship it, do you always spray it or? No, it depends on the size. If it's really big, and especially if it's framed, I'm going to um, spray it. But um, if it's on the small side and I'm able to kind of tap off most of the little, you know, f stray particles, I'm not necessarily going to um, spray it. And and you you put glassine on them as well? Yeah, I store them particularly um, store them with glassine. Okay. Let's see. What do I want to do next? I think I'm going to work on the white. I haven't even touched the white flower, so I need to get in there and get that guy. So this is not white. It's kind of a purpley. And I can see already I need to work on getting a little bit more difference between the background and the flower. Right here. Good. Here's another question. Um, would you ship your finished painting framed already? I don't. These 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 small ones that I that I do for the um, live streams. I do not frame. They're unframed. I sell them unframed. You can't. There's there are definitely ways methods of shipping um, framed pastels. But it is definitely, definitely easier to, to ship them unframed. No question about it. Let's get a little bit more difference between these guys. Okay, I think that's. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else do I want? I want a little bit more of the inside of this. I'm going to bring a little bit of uh, maybe something like this in there. And that's going to set me up, I think, pretty well. Maybe this. That needs to be a little darker. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm good shape. Now I can think about the, the lights on here. So, got a lot going on with those, this mum. And I'll come back around to the contour of this because that's going to really, this contour of the mums is going to really be um, part of what's going to show its character off. Just want to get a nice mix on that background. Kind of good. Now I'm just kind of coming around and playing with the contour because I, I, it's that's pretty important to me. I 
place. Okay, it's kind of getting time to get this pulled together. I wanted to see how I did it. Oh, okay. I did this little reflection in here. In here. Clean that up. Well, there's a few people encouraging everyone to hit the like button, and I, uh, I oh, yeah. agree with that. Hit the like button if you haven't. That'd be great. Yeah, please. And go to the website and check it all out and join the family. <laughs> yeah, definitely check out the website. It's a good little sale we have going on, so it's a good opportunity to get over there and check out what we've got. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to come together a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to put that little petal in. I just don't have time to do it. <laughs> I want it, but I just don't have time for it. Sorry. All right, now I need to get the, the light lights on the petals. I haven't done that yet. You in the mood for one quick question? Yeah. So um, given a flat plane, how far away from a body of water would a tree have to be to not reflect in the water? <laughs> it's a, like a trigonometry question, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty tricky. I mean, follow, maybe follow the reference photo? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I would have to, yeah, I don't know. And I can't answer that while I'm painting. <laughs> you know, that's not one I can answer. That's a that's a trick question. Trying to get some of this kind of simplified in here and just picking out some um, interesting shapes in the glass. It's, the, the, the glass can, you, it's kind of a slippery slope. It's um, nice to paint and definitely interesting to paint, but I don't want to get too, um, too much in there. Okay, let me get the, let me wipe off my hands and I'm going to get the lights on the flowers. I think that's going to pull it together really nice. Um, oh, I want to soften that. This is like really harsh right there. I don't want that. I want it to be pr prettier and softer.
okay. This is really nice and fun to do. Um, one thing I want, I want, I want my daisy in the shadow here. I definitely want this to be shadow right there. better and okay lights on the flowers so on the the main daisy it's 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 really really light it's almost white um, I kind of hesitate to use white but it's really light so um, let's see Let's get these. This one, use a, a directional stroke that's kind of. And again, just to clarify, you said at the beginning that this, this is a um, kind of a version of it's a similar composition as uh, as an example in year three. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we did. It's not the exact same setup. No, it's not. And it's in the still life category. Yeah, we, yeah, it's the still life month that we're doing, oh, and it's not out yet. You have to wait. You have to wait till. Year two has a specific month dedicated to floral, if I remember. Yeah, it does. That's right. Well, I do remember because I edited it for <laughs> several hours, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> well, it's it all kind of you know goes into gets it to be a little bit of a blur. Sure. Definitely, uh, we've been r really working hard on the year three. It's coming together though. That's nice. Almost there. Okay, I'm picking with this too much. I don't. I want to move on to the other flower because I'm not. I'm not. Um, not helping myself out here. So um, when I'm when I'm feeling like that, I'm gonna move on. I want to get this out. What I want to do though, before I, before I move on, I'm, I lied. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of simplify a couple things. Yeah, that's better. All right, now for the for the um, mum, and then I'm going to get some nice um, highlights on the glass. Whoop. 
And I've seen them press them pretty hard. Whoop, really pressing hard. This is really a juicy, buttery stick that I've got here. Here's another question, actually. I'm sorry to That's okay. on you. Um, this is a really hard question, actually. So, okay. um, Marla, I'm a new student and in the, in the beginning class, but I have oil painted and chalk, did chalk art for years. Wondering what other class to sign up for with the sale. That's really a tricky question. Um, say again which one you're... Uh, that she's, she, I think she's doing a, a, a beginning one, maybe... Um, Oil painting for anybody, or one of the one of the uh, beginning um, workshops. So, are um, um, are she's you curious what other classes to sign up for with the sale? So, are you wanting oil or? Yeah, she says she has a um, she has oil painted and done chalk art for years. Oh, well, there's a lot there in terms of the um, pastel offerings. So there's light and shadow, there's kitty and friends, there's trees. Um, so there's a lot there in, um, to choose from. Um, if, there's also pastels for the serious beginner, which I have to say, um, even if you've painted for years in pastels, if, you know, it, it, there's a lot of like just kind of foundational, you know, info in pastels for the serious beginner. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, steer anyone away from that at all. Okay, I'm feeling a little like I need a little bit more shadow in this guy, a little stronger. That some of this stuff isn't reading in shadow. And so I want it. Not sure what I'm where I'm going here. It's getting kind of messy. I'm gonna leave that daisy alone and I'm gonna move over to the um, glass. Okay, let me take a look. What do I, what do I got going here? Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's okay. I I want. A bit more like that, and then. I'm picking on the daisy. I really am. Really, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of uh, hot to get a couple of things and I'm not doing it. There we go. Okay, so. Let's get. All right, how about some uh, highlights on the glass. I don't need a whole lot to say it.
Oop. I want that little design element. It's kind of cool. This to be a little more like that. Right. And I think this just needs to be a little bit more in shadow. I'm kind of falling off on what's in the shadow and what's in the light. And uh, just to mention, thanks to everybody for um, donating in the super chat. Oh, thank really you guys. It. Yeah, it's much appreciated. Let's get a couple little more. Darks here. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's see. Let's try to get this a little bit brighter here. And I'm not sure what I need to do here, um, I think. I want, I just want a little more sensation of the daisy and shadow and I'm overworking it now, but that's, that's okay. I just love the, the glow of that daisy and it's kind of, it's got so, such beautiful reflected light that I'd like to try to um, capture. I'm not quite, I'm not quite there with it. But it's got, it's got some of what I wanted. That's better. And we're going over time a little bit. I'm, I'm just gonna do um, just a couple things on the contour and then I'm gonna call it good. Cause I, I definitely feel like I'm starting to, to play with it too much and it's fine. It's, um, it's a good little study. And uh, just to let you know, you're getting a little bit of a flyaway on that left side if you wanna. Okay, there. well. There you go. Okay. Just be a little, I think a, just a little bit bolder. That helps it a lot. Someone noticed um, there's some bare spots in your palette. Um, can you comment on that? I mean, oh, I just um, actually it's right about that time of year to to do a real thorough cleaning of this and um, go ahead and get some um, some spots filled in. I have to admit that I um, I'm building another tray um, or um, uh, another tray for the other studio space. And uh, so I have poached some <laughs> and um, that's, you know, the way it goes. And that's, uh, I try not to do that, but you know, sometimes 
it's necessary. Okay, let's do, let's do one more pass at this daisy. That's better. Yeah, that's that's starting to get it. Much better. Get the little little bits of light on this one. It's hitting the, the light. I like that. All right. I think if I play with it too much more, I'll won't be won't be very good. So. Let's see, I want to do um, one kind of little thing on that leaf. Let's see if I can get that to do that a little bit. All right, guys, I think I better quit while I'm ahead <laughs> on that. All right. Uh, all right, any other questions? And remember to go to the website, paintinglessonswithmarla.com. Check out, we've got a nice little sale going. Um, $23 off every order, so it's a good, good deal, good opportunity. That's on everything. That's on the workshops and the monthly subscription, so it's a good opportunity. So the tray, um, um, here's a question. Uh, is the tray that you're making essentially the same size? Yes, it is the same size. I am organizing it slightly differently because it's not, it won't be for, it's just for my own personal use. So I'm um, kind of playing, playing with the organization of it just a little, little bit. So I think it's always good to keep it kind of fresh and different. So I've, what I've done in, with that tray is I've divided it a little bit differently and I'm keeping, I'm keeping some of my pastels like Giro's and um, some new pastels and um, some big, big, big chunky ones. I'm keeping them separate uh, on a different tray. So that's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fairly, it's gonna be different than this. And do you so know, it's a work in progress. Um, oh, sorry. Um, do you know offhand what the uh, what brand the gray, purple, flat, round sticks were that you used? Unison. Unisons. Do you Definitely. want to take a look at the sticks? We can move the. Camera. Oh boy, it's a mess. It's a mess. Maybe we could put it's the. A uh, mess. We can mat the painting really quick. Sure. Take a look at that. Yeah, the the painting it turned out okay. There, there are some little contour things, little edge things in the in the um, cast shadow there that I think would be nice to um, clean up and um, have a little different. I like how the jar turned out. Yeah, the jar looks great. Yeah, the pink daisy that was a little tough to get the right value, but uh, yeah. Well, let's take a quick it's look fun. at those sticks. Yeah, uh, it's, it's kind, of a, kind mess, of, but. it's kind of a mess. Let me see if I can. Can you can, can you put the uh, angles down there? 
with the uh, mat. Can you put that down for a minute? Cool. Yeah, it's kind of a lot because I was kind of a little bit struggling with the getting. I wanted the daisy to have that luminosity and still have the, the quality light, the light and shadow. So it was a little tricky. Someone asked a question about, um, they said, how do you get that quote unquote glow? And when you said luminosity, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the, the, the flower in the, you know, it has this, you know, beautiful sort of reflected light. And I, you know, I don't think I'm off too, too much in the, what the shadow was doing. That's about right. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'm way off um, in the end, but um, yeah, there's this right here. There's this glow where the light's kind of coming back from behind on that flower, and it's kind of like that. And I think that's the right color and value, but I just think that the the um, you know, maybe I, maybe I just need to work at it a little bit more, and I could get it. But right now, I need to give it a give it a rest. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times when I'm painting for you guys, if you know, it's a little tricky because uh, if I was on my own. I might tr I might have a tendency to try a couple of things that I might not try in front of the camera, <laughs> and sometimes that just that experimenting. What if I try this? What if I try that? Um, uh, you know, I'll find my way to the a solution if I'm if I'm a little bit stuck. But but uh, overall, I, I think the the look is good. It's fun. So yeah. Alrighty, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm going to paint next week. Something else. I might get back to landscape. I might be doing acrylic next week. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do next week, but um, we'll definitely be here. And uh, let's see what else. The uh, monthly people. You, I um, will be doing another super stream for you guys sometime next week because we were a little bit behind. And so you get one more um, in February. So that's coming. So check, watch out for that. And um, hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy getting this little mix of sun and rain and a little bit of everything here. So it should be an interesting week. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, it's better than I thought.